Although COVID-19 numbers seem to be slowly rising, medical officials have said they don't expect another major spike. They say that's due to vaccination rates, but also the COVID-19 treatments we now have available. The FDA also announcing today one COVID pill can now be used to treat pediatric patients. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live to break down the differences in these treatments. Paris. Chris Jordan, there are two antiviral pills that fight COVID-19 as well as antibody treatments. Health officials say these are great advancements in the fight against COVID-19. We are two years into the COVID-19 pandemic, still dealing with a slight increase in positive cases. However, medical officials say we're nowhere near where we were at the start of the pandemic. They say that's due to medical advancements, including COVID-19 treatments. We do have very few uh, treatments that have actually been authorized right, by the FDA. Clinton Mathias is a professor of pharmacology and epidemiology at Western New England University. He explains the differences in treatments to Western Mass News. He says there are three pills to treat COVID-19. Remdesivir is the only fully authorized treatment by the FDA. Paxlovid and Monoporavir have emergency youth authorization. Matthias says these pills all work to prevent hospitalization in COVID-19 patients, and they work similar to how Tamiflu treats the flu. The pills are mostly targeting, um, you know, the viral replication and trying to prevent the virus from growing. The biggest difference between the pills is that Remdesivir was just approved on Monday to treat children 28 days or older with COVID-19. It's great news that, uh, you know, that the FDA has now approved Remdesivir for the pediatric population where, uh, uh, you know, uh, these patients are not able to be vaccinated. There's also monoclonal antibody treatments that are also used to treat COVID-19 and have emergency use authorization by the FDA. The antibody treatments um, are helping your immune system actually fight the virus, right? So um, the, the antibodies are specific for the virus itself or maybe some sort of protein on the virus. And those treatments have proven to work really well against the new VA2 variant. Now, these treatments do not work to stop the spread of COVID-19, but only to prevent hospitalization. If you are positive for the virus, be sure to contact your primary care doctor to see what treatment would work best for you. Reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.